In this lesson, we're going to look at something called the seed principle or the seed technique. A seed is a little thing that you plant in the ground if you want to grow a plant or a tree. And this concept has helped thousands of my students who were struggling at a band 5 or 6.5 and they needed to move to a band 7 or 8 or even 9. Once they understand this seed technique, not only do their scores improve, but everything becomes much, much easier and there's not so much stress involved in writing task two. So if we have a seed and we want to grow something, whatever we plant is going to give us that plant. Sorry for the terrible drawing. I'm not an artist. So if, for example, we plant a lemon seed, we're going to get a lemon tree. If we plant a cherry seed, we're going to get a cherry tree. And it doesn't matter what we do. If we start off with the wrong seed, we're going to end up with the wrong fruit on the wrong tree. But if we start off with the right seed, we're going to end up with the right tree. And if we think about what the seed of your essay is going to be, it's your main ideas. If your ideas are bad, you're going to write a bad essay. It doesn't matter what else you do, your essay is going to get a low score. If your ideas are good, you're going to write a good essay. So what does a good idea mean? Well, this is where this seed thing comes into play. The most important thing to understand is that your idea should be simple. It should be easy to understand. You do not get any extra marks for having complex ideas or sophisticated ideas or impressive ideas. Most of the students who are stuck at a five to 6.5 are trying to think of complex ideas. And that causes a huge number of problems that we're gonna look at in the rest of this C technique. As if you think of simple ideas, they are easy to think of. This is going to make your job much easier. It will be simpler to think of the ideas and it will be faster, it will be quicker to think of the ideas. Not only that, they are easy to understand. It's really important that you understand that your writing is a reflection of your thinking. If your ideas and your essay is simple, then it will be simple and easy to understand. If your ideas are very complex and difficult to understand, then your whole essay is going to be difficult to understand. And we need to think about why are we writing the essay? We're not writing the essay to show off how amazing our ideas are. We're writing the essay to clearly communicate with the examiner, make everything easy for them to understand and easy for you to do, and then everything becomes much, much easier on test day. And simple ideas also directly answer the question. What is your main task on test day when you open up a task two question? It is to directly answer the question, demonstrate to the examiner that you've understood the question and you are directly answering the question. Simple ideas allow you to do that because the ideas that directly answer the question are normally the simplest ones. So let's look at this in a little bit more detail. If your ideas are very complex and difficult to think of, difficult to understand, they don't answer the question, your, idea, your introduction is not going to be very clear. It's going to be difficult to understand. Your main body, you're going to find complex ideas difficult to develop because more complex ideas are more difficult to explain and students often find them difficult to think of examples for. So what happens is your essay is going to be a complete mess. You're going to run out of time because they're difficult to think of. And often students will uh, think of very complex ideas. They'll get to the main body. They'll figure out, I don't actually understand this or they can't think of a, an explanation or an example. And then they'll start again and they'll run out of time and then they're going to fail the test. Whereas if you think of simple ideas that directly answer the question and are easy to think of and easy to understand, what you're going to do in your introduction is you're going to directly answer the question using those simple ideas. So the examiner finds it very easy to understand just from your introduction, whether you have understood the question and you're answering the question because simple ideas are easy to understand and easy to write about. Then when you're writing your main body, simple ideas they are very easy to explain because simple things are generally simple to explain. It's also 
they're very obvious. So it's very easy to think of an example. So the examiner will be able to look at your introduction, know that you know what you're writing about, and then look at your main body and know that you've fully developed your answers very, very clearly because they're easy to do that with. Then you'll be able to write a very clear conclusion, which just summarizes those simple main ideas, directly answering the question and what you think about the question. So by starting off with this seed, this has produced a very high quality essay. By starting off with this seed, this has produced an essay that doesn't really show how good your writing really is. Most of the students that we work with are already at a band seven level, but because they do things that make their life more difficult and make it more difficult for the examiner to understand their true level, they're going to get one of these scores. Because that would be like, you know, imagine I gave the greatest farmer in the world lemon seeds and I said to him, I want cherries. Doesn't matter how good he is, he's going to be giving me lemons when I want cherries. Don't give the examiners what they are not looking for. The examiners are looking for simple, easy to understand ideas that directly answer the question. Give that to them. Don't listen to people who tell you the examiners are looking for complex ideas. There's nothing in the marking criteria which talks about give the student more scores or more marks for high level, fancy, complex, difficult to understand ideas. That is not the case at all. So next time you're doing task two, S-E-E-D, seed.